Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-square. In this example here we're going to look to how to write a proof and I will uh, do in fact a flow chart or a flow proof and then you're going to see how that flow chart or flow proof looks as a two column proof. Well let's see first. Whenever you have, a, you have to do a proof, something is given, something needs to be proved. And here you notice angle C congruent to angle F. I'm going to mark that on the picture so I know what I'm doing here. And then, this is a very interesting statement, A, B, bisect, C, A, F. And when you hear that bisection, you know it cuts an angle in half. So that's the reason uh, those two angles are congruent, because the big angle A, A, C, A, F, C, A, F was cut in half. But also, what do you notice here? We have a common side, right? So it looks like we're going to end up here with an angle, angle, side theorem, right? And the only thing I want to do now is to put it on a flow chart. And on this one, you need to kind of be careful how you organize your, your flow chart. Eh? So well, probably the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this statement, because I'm going to need it. A, B, bisect, angle, C, A, F. Right? I'm going to put this in a box, and under this box, I'm going to put given, given, right? This statement is given to us, that's the reason I'm going to put here, given. Based on this statement, I can say what? Angle CAB congruent with angle FAB and what's the reason here? Definition of angle bisector. Okay, and this is one of the angles, let's say the first one in my uh, AAS theorem. I do have another angle, so another pair of angles that are congruent, which is angle C congruent to angle F. This is given to us. And then what else I have? If you remember, we have this AB congruent to itself. AB, a common size, I call it. And we call this reflexive property. Reflexive property. Okay, so you see now I build my proof and I have both angles and the side, right? So now I can put the final statement here, which would be the triangle ABC congruent with triangle ABF. Be careful with this last statement, it needs to be in the correct order. And the reason for this is angle, angle, side. That, that is a flow chart, a flow proof for this problem. Okay? Let's see a better example, which is right here. Right? You see it the same way, same thing. And also you can see now how that proof is looking in the other one, another form, two column proofs. It's the same idea, have a different type of organizing the things. If you enjoyed this video, clip, don't forget to click the like button, then come back and see square for more math. Thank you.